And another rainy day. And a day where we have to... Yeah, fuck. We have to try and save Mikiko. Because she's in a lot of trouble. Come on, now, come on, come on, come on. Sup? I still don't know how you give me a list on that. Was on last night, right? The command I go? Yeah, I did. I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Yes, because it was the kimono, and we know it's Yukiko. Well, I know it's Yukiko, because I saw it last night. Yeah, if no, it turns no. out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. But we already expected that. something about that place that's killing the victims. It's still the fault of the person that's someone's there. using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. This we is... We need it. to find the culprit. No matter what it takes. Pardon me, I'm a little internal about that. There's no way the police can do it. Who believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? It is very, very, very far-fetched. It has to be. I want to keep my words here. Let's bring an end to this. <laughs> you do it. Um. Oh. Oh, which one? Which one's gonna give me the stat bonus? Um. Let's bring an end to this. Determined. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Let's do it. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. Because you've got the persona now. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Of persona! Persona, wasn't it? It sure was. Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically. There's more than four of them in the game? It's weird. And if Gold Experience Requiem isn't one of them, it's even weirder. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. Cause I'm good. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, like let's a whip. do our best. What cheer? I'm lame sometimes. So deal with it. <laughs> Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. You sense a faint stirring of friendship between you and Yosuke. Is this that social link stuff? Yo. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Magician Arcana. Are these literally just going to be in numbered order? Because I just realized, yeah, but Magician is one. Are they just going to be in numbered order? Like, the person who gets their second persona, are they just going to be number two? Because if so, that's lame. As you form one with Yosuke, you feel the power in your heart strengthening. You recall Igor's words the about the persona ability oh, this. is the power yeah. to control one's own heart. heart, and the heart is strengthened through bonds. Like this is the power of friendship, the game, right? The power of friendship, the game. That's what it's like. Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, we, yeah, we heard it. Yeah, we heard this yesterday. Is that Yosuke? What well, um is this bond with Yosuke? Well, yeah, obviously. You have established the Yosuke um, Hanamura social link of the Magician Arcana. Yosuke's determination in battle has been enhanced. Yosuke can now wake up and knock down enemy. Uh, oh, I knocked down ally, sorry. During battle, your ally may help someone who is knocked down on, get back on their feet. Sick. Did you feel that as well? Or did I just feel that? I don't know if he felt it. Yeah, so where does Bros now? He really is my Bros guy. Sup? Sup? Hi, this is important. Yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. But it's important. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Oh, fucking Christ. Huh? Y Yukiko san? Uh, no. At least I haven't seen her today. Please tell me that she's just busy What'd at work do? today. Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? Which one? No. Oh. All that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. Wait, have we explained to Che at this point everything that happened to the Shadow the stuff, or not yet? on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. Yeah, she had a kimono. That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. It was yesterday, not a few days ago, but I can't... I got no. worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. I well, called shit. her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... Yeah. Let's go. Now. Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? Well, she hasn't been found dead yet, so she might still be safe. No! You summed up the information you gained in that other world from Shie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? Might have been. We don't know yet for sure, 
we should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. Yeah. Fuck school. Like, seriously, fuck school. It's Saturday. Why are we at school? Does Japan have school on Saturdays? No good. Her voicemail picked up. Does Japan have school on a Saturday? She, she's not answering. Huh. That might are be you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? Uh-oh. Stop it. Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Well, no, we got We have to check. Oh, or she might be helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. We have to check. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? She's the manager right now. Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come you on, press you one go. number. Pick up. Yukiko? Thank God she's there. Uh huh. Uh huh. I see. Oh, um, uh, no, it was nothing. <laughs> oh, she I'll is. Oh, okay. Later. Oh, okay. Whew. <sighs> she was over at the inn. Okay, so she's not about to die, but we still have to like keep an eye on her though. She said they had a big group reservation, and she had to help out. Yeah. Oh, now that I think about it, this has happened before too. At least once a year. <laughs> she said she'll okay. be at the end tomorrow too. But we still have to check. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. You're the one who said that it might be her on the TV. She's totally fine. Chie, calm the f. And you were all. Is Yukiko sign inside that place? Chie. Fuck so. Sorry. But there is a reason we thought that. Because that's where... Zaki oh, yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I yeah. mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. TV, TV. Yukiko san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. Yeah, would that, could that imply that someone else in the kimono is there? Or has Yukiko just been going in there on her own? That might be possible too, that she has that ability as well. It's just like, what the fuck? You explain she in detail again about what happened last okay, night. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. <laughs> oh, we explained everything about the shadow I one? Okay. I seen the place firsthand. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'd never have believed a story like that. But now you do. Because, so, yeah, because yeah, the story's fucking crazy. Dude! I just noticed the adorable picture of the penguins on the TV, up of the TV. Ah. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Yes, yeah, so let's jump in. Oh, but there's people looking. Fantastic. Look at another way. Oh, by talking to that Teddy guy. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. Just jump in. People won't, be as you said, no one believes you that that. Um, about the story, so why would they bl why if they saw that, why would anyone believe them if they thought they saw that? I got it. Think. Come here a sec. What you, what's your plan? Oh, you're trying to sell the TV? Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Oh, I thought you were gonna advertise it. Hey, stand over here. Make a wall with me. Uh, a wall? Another, be another brick in. That's a shitty wall. You tricked- you tried beckoning- oh, did he ever. Did he bite you? What's wrong? Someone bit me! Shh! Not so loud, you idiot! You're louder than him. Do Look at <laughs> that person looked over. a bite mark? Are you okay? Um... I think I'm gonna cry. Um... I'll be alright. Wow, that looks like it hurts. Sheesh, that stupid bear must have done it. Why would he bite me? Hey, you! We know you're in there! <laughs> you look like a weirdo. Oh, is this a game? Whoa, you can do it! No, it's not a game! Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. What? This land feels so barren. Really? Really? Oh. Shut it! So there's no one inside? You're sure? Okay, then how do- Maybe that's why it was so staticky. Because no one was actually inside. Hmm. And it was just predicting the future somewhat. Because pr predicting the future is a thing, you know, the Velvet Room tarot cards can do that. I'm 
gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. What, don't let someone throw you into a TV? Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. How are you gonna, what are you gonna warn her to say don't? Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Yeah. Sure, I'll go pick her up at her house. At least we're all taking this seriously. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's midnight channel. We have to stay up till midnight every night before we go to school. Cross your fingers that this is all typical just a teenagers. But if if it's someone, then we have to be worried about someone being in there still. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. One eight hundred. Eat my ass. Well, oh, we don't actually get to find out the numbers. Damn. All right. I was gonna don't call him and see tonight. if anyone claims that number. But I'd have to do the foreign number calling thing for um, Japan's area code, and then that would cost me a lot of money for a stupid joke. Was it really? Maybe. You need to watch him in. Okay, we need to watch it again tonight. Can do. Talk to Clearview. That's way too inside. But anyone else, Stephen, remotely get. Oh no! Oh fuck. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. What's going on? Uh, are you doing a search, or is it. still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. So what's... We don't even know if this is a homicide. Again, it's... Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. Not two in a row, especially. <sighs> I know. Are, you, we, are we talking about Saki, or are we talking about a third one? We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. Now we got a second one just like it. So yes, yeah, so there's only this been a This is two. a murder case. There's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. Or a unbelievably quick and obsessed copycat. If that's true. So quick question, every time there's one of these things and they talk about a serial killer or maybe a potential copycat, like honest to god, I could probably ask my mum this because she watches the Crime Investigation channel all fucking day. It's basically Binding of Isaac but instead of Christian t TV it's the um, Crime Network which is... I don't know if that's more or less horrifying. Point is, I could probably ask her to find out the answer to this question, but how many copycat um, killers have there actually been in the entire history of anything that's been solved? Is it a high number? Because I can't see it being a high number. You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. <laughs> but now that someone... Well, it still might no, have. That singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records mm -hmm. prove it. It doesn't mean you could hire a hit. Remember, so. the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Or they knew that you were going to think that, um... Got a point there. Gone very deep. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. Hmm. He's been working in the city for the past six months. It seems he what, well, was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. Hitman still exists. And we can't find anything that Weirdly. shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. No. No contact? Oh, after her disappearance, because she hid out here and then she disappeared. Okay, yeah. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically Jeez. as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Okay, that, okay, calm down. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start getting confused with the names, I don't know what's going on. And then we have but the yeah. second case, regarding Saki Konishi. Which is just... She's the one who cool. discovered Yamano's corpse. I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. I don't... why? She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. Well, maybe it was because they were pissed off. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. That's a fu That's a l big connection. That's like a couple of degrees of separation. To a motive. And coincidences like that are common yeah. in a town as small as ours. She went to the same school as a girl whose family owns an inn that the person was staying at. It's a bit... Yeah, I heard about that. Coincidence is like that would happen all the fucking time in the city. What? Was the story about the inn out already? Yeah, there was an interview about it with a shitty fucking reporter. Okay, I got it. How's this? Well, Maybe what? there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. 
and our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. That seems specific, like it was hanging up in the air. How could she find out something about it? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm on your side because the fact that she found the body clearly has to be at least part of the reason why she was the next target, but our perp. Yeah. It has to be someone in Inaba. Is that you just confirming that I should look at every single character from now on as a possible murder suspect? Alright, siding with you. <laughs> oh, is your detective's intuition at work? I just had to be a dick about it. But yes, that's the way that's the game's way of saying suspect every character from now on. Because any character you make could be. The dialogue said welcome back. Also, did I get back in the evening so I'm not even eating dinner? This ends is hard to find. Why does she always watch fucking quiz shows? It's weird. And also, was Nanako alone the entire night until, like, fucking whatever time it is? God damn. Like, wow. Oh, man, I ate that thing of noodles and I haven't eaten anything since. Kind of, kind of annoyed. Let's save the game. Saving complete. Awesome. All right, well, let's, let's go midnight channel. Midnight channel. Midnight channel. Dun, 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 dun. I love that sound effect so much. As I um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, in terms of like the footprints and things, one of my friends, um, completely blind, and his hearing is amazing, and he watches shows like say The Simpsons, and he knows which characters will be like entering the scene because when characters move in an animated show like The Simpsons, they still animate their footsteps and they're different sounds for the different characters because different characters have different shoes and different, like, weights and everything. So he can tell if a certain character is, um, walks on scene because of those footprint sounds that they had. And I'm just like, what the fuck? At both your ability to do that and the fact that the TV shows go to that level of effort. And I'm like, what the fuck? I wonder if they still do it because of how lazy The Simpsons got. I mean, like, it's still a good show, and I'll stand by that, but, you know. They don't go to their effort. Yeah, oh! Good evening! Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to Not a Dream, Not oh. a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her what Prince the? Charming, and I came prepared. I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom. R I'm about what? to catch a whole harem, and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine. Well, here I go. Also, oh, that's why we saw a lady in a command despite no one being in there, because we saw a shadow of Yukiko, and Yukiko's shadow is about the fact that she doesn't want to admit that she just wants to plow every guy in the city. When she's like, "Oh no, I don't like boyfriends or anything." Pee 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 pee. pee. Is this the worried about Yukiko? Hey, did you see that? Yo, you're wearing your different clothes. They look way cooler than your school clothes. That was Yukiko son for sure. It looked like her, and I mean, she even said her name. Yeah. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? It sounded like a shadow. But she looked like she was on some low budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? It was like a film studio, but that's it. Try to contact Yukiko or Shihei. Um. Shihei, if you try and contact Yukiko, nothing will happen. But if you tell Shihei about it, then she will be able to do something about it. You're right. Let's get her to contact Yukiko san. Because she'll be able to believe it more. Tomorrow's Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. Sounds sounds good. You promised me that you guys get tomorrow. You decided to go to bed early tonight. Before midnight? <laughs> 